my name is Olivia Schultz. My whole life, just kind of growing up, not really knowing God, there would even be times when I'd be driving in my car and I would hear a song on the radio and I was like, oh, this is a great song. And then they would like start singing about Jesus and I'd be like, oh, switch immediately, switch that off. Not having God, I was making a lot of bad decisions, like really heavy partying, terrible decisions associated with that lifestyle. I started one day feeling really bad about the way that I was living. I started like thinking about Jesus and I'd never really have before. I kind of came to a point when I was like, I feel like Jesus would forgive other people except for me. Like I feel like I'm not counted as like someone that could be forgiven. And I like started to believe that. So I, I kind of was at this point when I was like, if my life is gonna like not be able to get forgiven by God and I'm gonna go to hell, like what is the point of even like waking up another day? It was like that next day after having that thought, that conversation with myself in my head. I was at work and I, I did hair. So I was always busy from like morning till night when we ended. And I kept thinking about, like I could not get God out of my mind, even though I feel like I already convinced myself that I could never be forgiven. Probably you could tell by just looking at me, I wasn't okay, I was having a terrible time. And one of these ladies at the salon that I had barely spoken to really came up to me and she asked if I was okay. Um, she's like, I'm getting my nails done at the end of the day. And if you're free, you know, and you want to talk, because I can tell you're really upset, like come, you can come talk to, to us and we'll, you know, sometimes it just helps to talk. I saw her walk into the nail salon, like go in her little chair to get ready, get her pedicure. And our nail tech was there. Um, and they were having a great time laughing like, and I just, I feel like God was telling me in that moment to like, I felt like I heard the words go to them. And I just like started breaking down crying. I turned around and I went to them. And as pathetic as this may sound, I went into the corner next to their nail, their little like nail station. I was bawling. Um, I told them everything and um, just about my life and how I was like, truly concerned <laughs> that I was unforgivable. Um, Jesus would never forgive me. And I explained to them, I was like, I don't know why, but like, I just feel like I need God in my life. Like I need Jesus in my life. And they started breaking down crying, but they're also smiling and they were telling me how they're Christians and how like every lie that I was believing about how God would not forgive me was like so not true at all. And like they just, they told me everything about God dying for everybody on the cross. I mean, he thought of the people too that will probably never accept them into their lives, but he died for everybody. There's like not one person that's not included in his love and forgiveness. And I and I knew in that moment, I was like, I believe that God died for me on the cross. And ever since then, I've been following God. I know that I'm forgiven. Just the truth that I have to stand on and the hope in God that I'm forgiven and I'm a new creation, like that helps me so much. My life, I'm so much happier. He saved me that day, I'll never forget it, um, in the salon. Since then, my life has completely changed.